What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jada Jornay, and I am back with another video. And if you already saw the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys this wig that I got from Hermosa Hair Company. Now, today I did something different. This is my go-to style in high school. Like, I love to do these little rubber band styles. I really wanted braids, but I can't really get the braids down. So, I said, I could do this. This will still give that same, like, braided look, but it'll be a little bit different. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, please stay tuned. Once again, thank you to Hermosa for sponsoring this video. And yeah, let's get into this popping, popping, and saw honey because it's giving. So, you're going to start out with your bald cap. You're going to cut your ears out. That will help the cap to lay flat against the surface. And this will help it, you know, just in general. You just need to cut your ears out. Just do that. That's the vital part. So, I'm applying my Erica J glue right before my hairline. You do not want to apply the glue too close to your edges or too far up because you'll have to wear your wig kind of further up. And you don't want it to apply it too far back because it'll be on your edges and it'll roll. And you just don't want that. So make sure you're applying it to your skin and make sure you're not putting it on any hair. Or you will experience some type of loss. And it's going to be like a headache to get that glue out. So just make sure that you apply it to your skin. Um, that's just the best method that I've found. And it, should, it just, you know, it's better. So... You apply that layer, spread it out, and then you let it dry clear. You're going to apply this Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation of your choice. It could be any foundation. It could be powder. Whatever your preference is. This is what I've been using because my stylist had told me that's what she used. And it does work. So that's just what I'm using. And I apply it to my cap and also to the wig. I cut my bald cap off. And then I go in with some alcohol. That's just to help dry your skin out and clean out that excess makeup. So here's the wig. I did kind of try and install it before. And I had to redo it and, you know, wash it and do it over. Because I totally messed the install up. I don't know if I was rushing or what. So this is actually my second time trying to install this. So um, here we are once again. Um but here i'm just hot combing the back you know trying to get that hairline super smooth super straight so i can kind of get a glimpse of exactly if i need to pluck any more or anything so once you do that you're going to go in with that glue that you use for the cap which is your glue ghost bond bolt hole erica j whatever you prefer and you're going to go in with a layer and i like to attach my layer to my ball cap some people go above their ball cap and don't let it touch but personally i like to attach it it's just an extra adhesive to the ball cap to make sure that it doesn't roll so that's what you see me doing applying it to my wig and you can do about three or four layers depending on how long you want it once it dries clear you can pull it on up now i did apply this wig in layers i didn't do you know the whole nine i did apply like some on the side some on the front just because i thought it was easier sometimes when wigs are a little smaller or the sizing is kind of weird you do have to go in sections because you kind of have to pull so that's what y'all see me doing i did the middle first and then i went left to right and it's literally the same method it just helps you kind of get it down better especially when the fit is not like top tier you know so here i am just trying to get everything down and secure and when i'm rushing i will use a blow dryer i rarely use a blow dryer with my wigs but if i'm like trying to hurry up and get it done and get the glue dry i will use a blow dryer but um yeah so that's what y'all see in here i'm just you know going in and looking at it and i'm pretty sure like you you do measure your wig but sometimes once you put it on it does you know have a little big like it'll have like some pieces that you may need to cut so you can always you know adjust it once it's on your head but you know it's just a preference thing so here i am with the wig on and y'all see it's giving hd is to giving everything that needs to be gave so i'm just cutting off that excess lace that y'all see um and just getting that off with a straight razor that is the that's my favorite thing to use you can use uh shears in a zigzag motion but i feel like the straight razor just kind of gets it better like it just catches it you know way better so yeah that's what i'm doing and then i'm going in for some baby hairs uh, with curly hair, I love really curly and just flowy baby, baby hairs. I think it's really cute. So here I am about to pluck my baby hairs. Literally, baby hairs are pull them out. You pluck. 
then you cut them and then you curl them now i did take a lace class and she cut she curls hers before she cut them so i sometimes change how i do them just depending on you know what method i'm going with but for the most part you still get the same outcome so here is into the style okay so i parted my hair down the middle you can do crisscross it's it, the thing about this style is it's so versatile and in so many ways you can do different patterns like you can get really creative with it you can do space buns like i used to tear this hairstyle up in high school y'all i just used to do it different ways all the time i just think it's so cute and like i said i really wanted to go for like that push back curly look now i did want braids but like i said i couldn't really i'm not the best braider i will say that i'm not the best braider especially to the scalp now i can do some out braids but to the scalp i'm a little iffy so especially on a wig it's almost like 10 times harder unless you do it on the stand and it was already on my head at that point so here i am um just going with this style which i said it was between that and braids so i seen a picture a throwback or something and i was like yeah that's really what i wanted so um that's what i'm doing and y'all this style is so so cute y'all it just your hair out your face you don't got to worry about me having too much hair in your face it's pushed back this is perfect like for vacation pool if you like to style your wigs different ways you know while you have a wig on this is definitely a style that you can look into and it's super easy everyone can do it you don't need practically any skill to do this you're literally just making mini ponytails connecting them and you know going all the way back and i think i did like three rows back and i think maybe eight across so four on each side and i did two sets of no maybe i don't know i, don't know. I think four i think eight sets a side across i think yeah i think i did eight across and four back so the first two i would connect no i did three back the first two i would connect and then that last one i would just go straight back in a ponytail i didn't do a crisscross so that's what i'm doing and like i said anybody can do this so if y'all do this style definitely let me see it um because yeah it's super cute <laughs> super super cute um and you can this you don't have to just do this on wigs you can do this on uh your real hair or whatever but that's what i was saying about the wig the actual wig hermosa uh this was their loose deep texture that's one of my favorite textures because it's not too curly it's not too not too loose but yeah i really think this was very fitting with this particular hair i really really thought it was going to be cute and i really want to put this wig back on with this same exact style because i think it's so cute um and i want to go to the pool with it because i got a bathing suit i want to wear but here i am just filling in those parts with a little makeup just to you know emphasize those parts a little bit because i was i did it neatly but i didn't do it as neat as i could have did it you know i was tired and i was up doing hair all night so that was me but yeah wet this hair and this is the finished product super duper cute super duper effortless it was you know like i said i wanted something push back and out of my face and I definitely think it gave. Once again, shout out to Hermosa for sponsoring this video. Love, love, love the hair. Love, love, love the lace. And y'all see what it's giving. You see, yeah. <laughs> Dump him, baby. Cute, 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 cute. Real cute. Yeah. Mm. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next freaking video. Also, all links will be in the description box below. I forgot to say that. Bye-bye. <laughs>